They gonna love me for my ambition. My favorite album of the year so far, We Don't Trust You. We predicted here last week the idea of We Don't Trust You being directed at Drake because Drake and Metro Boomin have been beefing publicly, right? Metro Boomin has been going back and forth, tweeting and deleting, and Drake came out the Twitter and deleters. He, did, he took him off of songs. There's rumors of it being a female issue. And then Metro was tweeting before saying like, oh, it's actually some petty stuff. It's not really that serious. But I think it might be more serious than they're trying to make it seem that it's not, right? Uh, now we have the We Don't Trust You title. And I'm like, oh, it has to be at Drake. It could be. Is Drake on the album? He's not. First major uh, surprise feature was The Weeknd. I think when you played in order, it's like, oh, why is The Weeknd on here? No, yeah, he's mm. like vocals. Then the music video dropped today, The Weeknd, hiding his face. I've seen that. Metro Boomin wearing an EXO chain. I think The Weeknd pick a side, baby. I'm you know? sorry. And on For All The Dogs, Drake gave a shot to The Weeknd. Yeah, he's After it. ending their beef, and, and there was like a, they were like reconciliating, and then he was like, oh, why would we beef on another song? On the new album, he said, you know, bitches don't listen to The Weeknd on the Party Next Door song. Okay. It's like, oh, you're picking a side of these R&B crew niggas that you fucking put on in the game? These mis these amazing R&B singing niggas, influential as fuck? Because it was never about them! You know what I'm saying? It's about you get hits from them. And then, okay, fast forward, <laughs> continue the album, like that. Travis Scott played it! Travis Scott premiered no, it. No, he didn't. Where? Bro, at Rolling Loud. We yeah, spoke about he, it last he week. Did it loud. He was like, play that da -da 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 song. Yeah, he was His favorite Metro, song like, on the play album. It, play it, play it. Play it. And I was like, yo, this song song's amazing. I'm like, this is amazing. The production's amazing. And the future was like, yeah, we're gonna play the whole album. Be careful. Blah blah blah. At that time it was a future verse that's not on the album. Wait, so Travis picked their side? <laughs> there was no Kendrick Lamar verse at the time. Yeah, there wasn't. Now the official album drops and there's a Kendrick Lamar verse. So Could you, it be a fresh new verse that Travis Scott didn't hear? And like I said, Big Sean, the day before this album came out, previewed a verse where he was like, I'm you know, I'm not consistent. That's why I'm not in a conversation with the bigger three. So he's like, oh, I'm the shit. B B hold Big up. Big Sean can hold this out, bro. You know, and Kendrick Lamar and Big Sean had a beef in the past that they ended. He spoke about it when he got interviewed by Joe yeah. Budden and a bunch of people. Mm -hmm. And he's like, yo, I spoke to Kendrick. I saw him on the plane. I think I saw Top Dog on the plane. We ended the beef, you know, because it was a rumored beef since Control. There's been like a, a beef because of that situation and him taking the Control verse off, right? Fast forward. Now we have the Kendrick verse. And it reads like this, like that, verse 2 by Kendrick Lamar. These niggas talking out they necks, don't pull no coffin out your mouth, I'm way too paranoid for a threat. Hey, let's get it, bro. D.O.T., the money, power, respect, the last one is better. Say it's a lot of goofies with a check. Already goofies with a check? And a lot of goofies with a check, nigga. People a lot are, of dogs with people checks. People are saying he's talking about Drake. Drake. Goofy the dog from Disney. And you got a check, nigga. And he got a check. He got about. money. Drake has more money than everyone. And you got Nike. The check. Nike. Yes. Yeah. And he's saying DOT, the money, power, respect. Last one is better. Kendrick Lamar always cares more about respect. his respect than anything else, Dude, right? Drake only wants money and power. They say Drake <laughs> only wants money, right? Also, there was a trip on Tondra with that check bar. I didn't know about it until Twitter said it. The bro. Nike shit? The Nike. Nike check? The money. And the fucking verified checks. On yeah, people were like, oh, blue check. You mm -hmm. got blue checks. A lot well, of goofies uh, with blue checks. You know, but we could be dissecting it too deeply. But that's Kendrick what, Lamar okay. is like that's strategic. Okay. Yeah, He's yeah, like that. Okay. He really got it, right? Um, also, by the way, Kendrick Lamar, huh, thank you for watching us. I know you're subscribed to the channel. Because uh, I've been calling you out for about three fucking years saying, where's Kendrick Lamar? Where's Kendrick Lamar? Now we have Kendrick Lamar speaking directly. At that point, the only thing he didn't say was just... Drake, like Aubrey Graham, he basically said his name without saying his name. No, nah, he's putting his dogs in the grave. He, this is the most direct shot. Like, this is what we said. Like, if you're gonna <clears> fucking <throat> do it, out fucking out do of, it. Out of everyone, he's been the most direct. This is the most direct shot between his, all the beats. In his last album, he mentioned his name. Yeah. Yeah, he did say that. He, he did say I'm, I'm more missing around the big step. He said that he didn't like how Kanye and Drake yeah, ended that, the beat. That shit was weird. To he him. was like, it's kind of weird, but he's like, maybe I'm having matured enough. And now he said, fuck maturity, I chose violence. He literally said the violence line on this fucking yeah. verse. Let's continue it. <laughs> Let's but we want to take bro. credit for this, Kendrick Lamar. We know you've been listening. We know you've been watching. Don't act fucking stupid. Yo, so wait. Let me ask a question. Is Top the reason they, <clears throat> he never said it? Top Dog Entertainment? Yeah. Is he the reason why he's never said Candyman? Because that was the argument. That, I don't think so. I don't that think was so. why him and Top Dog split. Because I don't think so. Top Dog wouldn't let him do it. Because he's still working so. with TDE. 
Last week he was pictured with uh, what's that guy on the Schoolboy Q album? Malik, whatever his name yeah, is, yeah, Malik, Devin Malik, Malik or yeah. something. But he's not signed. He was in the studio anymore. with um with that artist. So like he's helping TDE still. So he's probably very close with them. He's still tied in. But he's not signed. Not to them. signed to them. Yeah. yeah. But uh, this is not gonna necessarily affect I don't business. Think, I don't think Top ever had like influence with when it came down to hell. No. no. My th- I don't know because I feel like Top told him, Yo, bro, you do this diss, you could be risking your career. Hell no, he ain't risking shit. Yeah. At the time. Kendrick got this. We're saying this right now. Back then, when Drake was bigger than Kendrick, I could get why he would yeah, say but, that. But could this that, be we've been going on for years? Yeah, yeah. But like the only time it would have quote unquote affected his career is when Drake put him on at the very beginning. I would yeah. say, let's be honest. The butterfly. After Section 80, because King King Kunta, K- Kendrick, he was, him. Kendrick was holding. Let's continue his the shit. verse. Remember, King Kunta, he said niggas is writing bars as if they're sharing beds. They're sharing the same bunk beds. Sharing bunk beds. Yeah. That's yeah. true. The verse continues. I hope the sentiment <clears throat> symbolic. My temper temperament bipolar. I choose violence. He she's choosing violence. Okay, and he goes, let's get it up. It's time for him to prove if he's a problem. This Drake. Is a song. Then he keeps going. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Niggas clicking up. But cannot be legit, no 40 water. Tell them. And that's like an E40 reference because so, the so click group back in the day. That and also the clicking thing, they're connecting it to that specifically to J. Cole. J. Cole him clicking up. Yeah, J. Cole up. and him clicking up. Getting together as a dynamic duo. Um, because uh, think about it. Why would Kendrick Lamar do it at well, any not, point not in time? So not only right now. more than ever. Yeah, because it looks not, like dick eating what they're doing. They're on together. tour together. That, yeah. That, but not only that, there is a, I forgot what song it is. Put the camera on you in case Kendrick Lamar sends a bomb. <laughs> There's a <laughs> no because I'm on Kendrick Lamar's side. Oh, oh you're picking a side. I We're lo- gonna talk about picking sides in a second. I, I, I love pick my Lamar. side. I love Kendrick Lamar. I'm sorry. My side's macaroni. What? You want? Anyways, <laughs> there's a track of J Cole. I forgot which one it is. In the video, he's talking about like with guns and shit like that, and he's he's clicking them. Yeah. So they're referring that he's like, okay, he's talking about this. He's talking about he clicking. Yeah. And so what? What the hell? What does the line say? Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like um, they cl- niggas clicking up, but cannot be legit. No forty water. Exactly. He's not legit. He's not really clicking up. He doesn't know gun. But it keeps going. Especially Get up with me. Especially because J Cole says that the stuff that he says isn't really true. Then he keeps going. He says, "Fuck sneak dissing," right? So he's like, "Fuck you guys sneak dissing," and also "Fuck me sneak dissing" because you've been sneak dissing for a couple years as well, Kendrick Lamar. Now you want to put the fucking name on the bullet? You basically did it here because the next line was "Fuck sneak dissing." First person shooter, I hope they come with three switches. I oh. crash out like fuck rap. So he's willing to crash out now. He's talking about the first person shooter collaboration. Hit song, J. Cole and, and Drake, right? The music video, the moment, the whole unification. How can, um, how can, it's amazing to see two legends coexist, right? Drake last week fuck almost cried on stage talking to Kendrick Lamar saying like my career uh, if they were to swap you with someone else, my career wouldn't be the same. Talking about J. Cole? Or? Like, talking about J. Cole. Basically saying that he needed J. Cole to exist for his career to exist. You know, basically, I don't know, it could be taken as a sub, as a shot, in a good way, bad way. That still is a respectful line. It's like, wow, what the fuck? You, you care about this nigga be even being alive? I get it, but this is so much dick eating. Like, shut up. But Hate each other. <laughs> I gotta but, stop. <laughs> I gotta stop. but it's like a genuine thing. Like, it is amazing. Like, why not? You know, we... Their their collabs have been amazing. They're probably gonna keep cooking up collaborations. Who wouldn't want to see some love? Not this man. Kendrick Lamar said, "Fuck all that shit. Fuck you niggas kissing." Next lines. Yeah. I'm snatching up. Blah 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 blah. blah. Let's get let's get to make main lines. He said, "No, give us the whole." If he walk thing. around with that stick, it ain't Andre three K. And he said, "I lost too many soldiers not to play it safe." Think I won't drop the location? I still got PTSD. Motherfuck the big three, nigga. It's just big me, nigga. Bum. So he's calling niggas these niggas bums. That line is amazing. I'm not, I don't know where he came up with it. Nigga bum. Nigga, it's, bum. Like a, it's like an ad lib. Bro, it's like, are you calling so a bum? Hard, bro. You know I what I'm saying? That. Niggas a bum. And like, they're not bums. You not know? bums. You know, J. Cole dress, bums. dresses like a no, bum, but like, it's, it's fashion. You know I'm what I'm saying? I'm instigating the fuck out this. It's fashion vibes. <laughs> I, I, I like J. Cole's fashion. Um, and he's saying, um, That's a bum. think I won't drop the location. Why are we dropping locations? It's like, it's like smoke like that? So like are these niggas trying to like is it like a personal thing? Like, are we trying to like see each other in person? Kendrick for Compton, bro. I no, no I, Kendrick would, you know what I'm saying? Be, I get why. He has he he's he's acknowledging something that the industry doesn't want to talk about. The way that Drake paints himself is he's this mob ass nigga. Yeah, and he's killed people. He, we yeah, talk about and, all the time. And he he uh he spins around the block. Yeah. 
But you know, with Ken, the lights off, caught him in daylight. But this is I could I could understand why someone like Kendrick would be offended by the existence of Drake because Drake grew up in this nice ass home with a fucking swimming pool outside, while Kendrick's in Compton having to kill people to survive. Yeah, like he he wrote a song about it's having, different worlds. Yeah, and it's like, bro, you're you look at it as something to glorify, like this cool mobster shit. I had to like. Not I had to kill someone and it affects me every day in my life. Like yeah, he's yeah. written about it on multiple mixtapes and albums. But so I get why he's like, nigga, I got PTSD, nigga. You wanna drop this address? Like we could do this. I got niggas that kill. I kill. What up? Then he said, uh <laughs> What up? <laughs> Your best work is a light pack. Nigga, Prince outlived Mike Jack. For all the dogs being buried, getting buried, that's a K with all these nines. He gonna seat pet cemetery, nigga bum. Right, so your best work that's is a light like, pack. That's like K, bro. Whose best work is a light pack, though? Drake's Scary Hours EP three or E uh, three EP? No. The light pack. Your best work? No, he's saying your best work is a light pack. Like it's trash. He's probably talking about Cole there, or he's talking about Drake. No, he's talking about Drake. Uh, the their best the, works the, a light the, pack, the, though. The majority of the stuff was at Drake. But their best works in a light pack. No, it goes back to the Mike and Prince bar. Remember, Joe Budden talked about this when it came to Kanye and Jay-Z. Mike is supposed to be, in a lot of people's eyes, the industry d sweetheart. Like, when Michael Jackson was alive, the industry loved him. He was very pop, very sensational. And then people argued that Prince was supposed to be the rebel, the mm -hmm. anti-machine. Yeah. He was supposed to be, he was supposed to reflect, like, what real music is. Um, so I could see him trying to argue. His best work is better than their best work? Yeah, I'm Prince here. Do you, think, do you guys think that? It's Good Kid Mad City. Let's, that's the question then. They gonna love me for my ambition.